Hey all my YouTube fans out there, Skipper Scotty here with another update on my project boats. If you are new to my channel, what I do is I raise boats from the depths and I restore them or destroy them. If, they're, uh, if I feel that they're fit and sound, I'll sell them or give them away. But uh, throughout my videos, I share all of my boat maintenance skills and anything from minor to major repairs. So if you're new to the channel, crush that like button, uh, hit this subscription, ring that bell, and uh, get, pre uh, get prepared for another year of fun in the sun. So without further ado, let's get to the video. 2021, Scooper Scotty! <laughs> All right, so I finally got the hole cut for the hatch in the in the little red sailboat. Well, new motorboat. We're gonna put this battery box down here in the center, and then we'll do all of our nav lights and uh, interior lights, wiring and stuff like that. Run that through. So hopefully, I can get this on before it starts raining. This is the removal of the old bottom piece. I didn't have any photos of the removal of the centerboard, sorry, or the filling of the hole. This whole project got started because I thought the centerboard was allowing water to come in the hollow hull of the boat. This would eventually cause rotten blistering. I tried to seal up the centerboard edges and places where I saw wet spots, but the water kept coming in, so I decided to remove the centerboard and turn the boat into an electric power boat. I simply cut out the center board and filled the hole in with crazy stuff, then filled the remaining space with resin and leveled it off. Here's a little red. We've uh, got her down to her base paint. Um, got the uh, fiberglass on. I used marine resin with uh, silicone thickener uh, to take and fill in all these little holes in here. All these little dark spots you see, those are all little pinholes that were in here. That's why she was taking on water. So we sealed all that up. Um, again, just waiting for the rain to stop so that um, I can put the bottom paint on then we're going to touch up the sides and we got the new LED strip lights all the way around boat's going to be electric when it's all done so there we were looking at the uh, coat for the resin I covered the whole bottom of the boat with resin here is uh, pictures of the uh, first coat of bottom paint I didn't put it on too thick the first time. And then here's the second coat of the bottom paint. And again, we used, um, or I used, uh, petite anti foul paint. Got the bottom uh, paint on, the anti foul. Turned out to be red. I thought it was going to be black, but. Still, that's cool. Um, one uh, one part of the project done. Now we'll just wait for it to dry and get a dry day. <sighs> that's the hard part. And then uh, we'll flip it over. And oh no, we won't. No, we won't. We'll take the tape off. You gotta take this tape off, and then do the sides. I got some side paint to go on to touch it up, and then we'll flip it over and do the gel coat. So lights are on and 
bottom coat is on. So almost ready to be flipped. Put the side paint on and then the gel coat. Started sanding on this side we got it done I'm just I'm using a uh, 40 grit um, palm sander just to knock the dirt off and scuff it up a little bit I'm not trying to get to the yellow but where you see yellow is it was very easy to get to there <laughs> so but um, yep just knocking off the dirt all the way down and um, we'll do the back and the uh, the other side now Okay, so we got the other side uh, scuffed up, sand it, and we're going to give it a bath and uh, dry it off with alcohol and um, get some paint on her. Okay, now that we got it all taped up, washed down, dried off, it's so humid out today, I didn't have to use alcohol, so it saved me a whole bottle of alcohol. So... Now we're going to stir up the paint and uh, get our first coat on. And now we have the first coat of red paint or the uh, side paint. So I'll give this a couple hours to dry. Hopefully it won't rain. I got a wandering cloud over me. So see how it turns out. Yay, it's launch day. I placed my phone on a tripod and my beautiful fiance, Girly. Hi. Took these photos of me rolling the boat to an empty slip and throwing the boat in. This entire project took two months because of dry time and weather and it cost around $900. I then proceeded to take Gurley for a ride down St. Mark's River just to try out my new motor before docking at the Charybdis and calling it a day. Well look, there's Kaya. If you like my videos, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and slam that notification bell, baby, so that you can get the latest updates on the Charybdis, Little Red, uh, the White Star, the Capri, and whatever other boats I, that might come my way, uh, uh, boat projects, or just projects in general. And if you, if you saw something uh, that didn't make sense to you, um, or you, or you want to know more about what I did uh, to a particular project, just leave it down into the comment section, and I will get back with you as soon as possible. I love you all very much. Thank you so much for watching my video and see you out on the water. Ahoy, skippers. Just wanted to send a note in a bottle to let you know about my new journal, the Dead Reckoning Journal. It allows you to uh, take notes of your dead reckonings and be more uh, precise in the, um, in the uh, points that you put in. Um, gives you something to keep track of don't be caught dead in the water you can find it on Amazon for $14.99 and don't forget to check out my latest works by typing in Dr. Scotton to see the to get the full collection of all my journals and notebooks see you on the water